Hello everyone, this is Tiffany again with Whitney and Tiffany, and I am going to share with you our painterly portrait set. So I just finished this image. Um, I did add some eyelashes to her because I didn't do it in my other one, and I always add lashes to my subjects, but this is um, from our ultimate workflow actions, and then a separate set that you can purchase to take it to the next level would be our painterly portraits. So I am going to click on our painter, painterly portraits here and open it up. And we have oil paint texture, painterly effect, painterly texture, you can read them all. What I like to do is simply click run them all. So I'm going to do that and it's going to take a minute here to run them all. And I like to work with these kind of like I like to work with the color toning because I'm not sure how it's going to look on every image. So why not just take the 10 minutes it's going to take to run through and see what this looks like and um, run all of them. Oh, there's Whitney telling us we should post to Etsy. Um, we're ready, guys. We've been really working hard the last couple days to get this all together. Um, I'm just getting videos together to help walk people through um, once they purchase how to use the actions in case you have questions. Just giving this a minute to run. Okay, so here they all are. Now I am going to start and just go through exactly like I did with color toning if you've watched that video and I'm just going to one click and this is like, whoa, <laughs> like some of them are like, what in the world is this? So high def is going to add in um, some clarity and also um, pop the colors for us, but that's crazy. Clarity is one of the things that I many times add to my images in camera raw when I am done with an image. Um, and now you can add in some clarity on your own. So as you can see, it's adding in a little bit of texture to her, her skin, the overall portrait. Um, I am going to bring this down and it's also brightening a little bit. So I like adding clarity um, to my images, but I don't want a ton. Something that's very popular um, amongst Christmas mini photographers is to add in that clarity and that like illustrated look into um, those Christmas mini sessions. So it's great. Use it um, on a low opacity and a high opacity, however you want. I'm going to go down to soft contrast glow and I'm going to click paint. So as you can see, it's adding in contrast, it's adding in a glow and it's also darkening that background. I really like this on her, um, but I don't want her to take on too much orange. I'm going to leave it at a low opacity. Like the color toning, when I play with these, a lot of times I use several of them just at a low opacity. Painted cashmere. So you can see in her skin, that's definitely giving that beautiful, um, soft look to everything. And it's also darkening and giving a warm glow to that as well. I am going to skip that because I want her skin to have that bright tone and I'm going to go to painted canvas. So as you can see, this is similar to high def. It's adding in that clarity and that sharpness and it's also adding in some warmth to her. I am going to click on here. Remember you have to click on the action to adjust the opacity and I am going to turn it off and on. I like the little bit of extra definition that that's giving her. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep that on. All right. Painted canvas. That's giving us even more brightness in the skin and all over the image. I am going to click on here and hit command I to invert. I still have my eyelash brush. I am going to use this with a white brush. And I am going to just brighten up the clothing with this one a little bit. Ooh, I'm going to hit Command Z there because I went off the clothing and I don't want a halo around her. And then I can hit backslash to see where I've painted. I'm just taking a look. I'm going to move that out. I'm also going to 
pop that on her eye. And then I'm going to drop the opacity. All right, painterly texture. So this is giving us a more desaturated look. Um, I can drop that down for you. So that real, um, almost like an artist's painting, a little bit more washed out. That's not the look that I'm going for. So I am going to not click that one. Painterly effect. So this is giving us a little bit of a cooler background. As you can see her shadows off and on, it's really cooling those shadows down. Um, I can click on here and reduce the opacity on this one too. But I'm going to ultimately, I'm not going to use that one. And the last one, oh, this one, something that's important to note is if I zoom in on this one and I up the opacity, you will see what it does to her skin and eye. It's putting that oil paint filter. So it's very important. Whoa, I don't want to do that. Click on here. If you are using this one, that you take this off of the skin. Okay, but I am not going to use that one, so I'm going to click off. And the last one is that oil paint texture. And simply what this is going to do, and it's at a 50%, so if you'd like it stronger, you just move it up. This is going to give that oil paint filter on things like the hair, the backdrop. Um, if you have any foliage, it's beautiful. So I am going to grab at 100% my black brush and I am going to take this off of her skin. This is something that I like to put the oil paint filter on almost all my images. I love it. I love the look that it gives. Um, but again, we need to take it off of skin, especially, oh no, I just lost my image. There she's back. Sorry about that especially if your subject is like mine, um, any type of hair or anything, it's really going to make it wonky. All right. So I am going to zoom that out, turn that off and back on. It's really just working with these and her hair. And I am going to drop that back down to that 50%. So in this image, it's not super noticeable, but in some it will be. So I can grab a snapshot there and you can see from this image to this adding in those different painterly textures so it's just i didn't do anything super drastic to this one you can leave them on high opacities most of mine that i have on are on lower so off and on off and on so again, just another set that you can use to bring your image to the next level. All right. Thanks everybody. As always, we're a learning environment. If you have questions, need help, reach out and we would love to help you. Thanks.